Hi there, and the big news story in the UK today is that a major telecoms provider, TalkTalk, Talk, has been hacked and up to 4 million customers may be at risk of having their personal information, their names, their addresses, their dates of birth, their phone numbers, maybe their banking information as well, now in the hands of hackers. Now, TalkTalk Talk hasn't been able to confirm what if any of the information was encrypted and it isn't able to confirm just how many users may be affected yet. But they've been going on BBC TV and other uh, national media outlets trying to reassure people. And obviously, there's a lot of criticism coming towards Talk Talk because this is the third time in less than a year that they've suffered from a serious cybersecurity breach. So, Chief Executive Officer Dido Hardin went on BBC News, and one of the questions she was asked was, how will people be able to tell whether the email they've received is actually really from TalkTalk Talk or whether it's a phishing email instead? Let's see what she said. Don't worry mm. about it. So when you talk to your customers, apart from obviously doing interviews like this, but you're going to be communicating with your customers, sending emails and so on, presumably. I mean, Dean is tweeting saying, how are we going to know that... This is actually you talking to your customers. How, do they, how are they going to know that these are genuine emails that they get from you and not a scam email? Well, which is a problem that all of us face with all emails. So a couple of things. Um, uh, the email that we're sending, it does have a link that clicks you through to our help site. If you are nervous and suspicious, have a look at the header of the email and you will see the email address that it has come from. And usually when you're getting a scam email, it is not from what looks like a normal talktalk.co.uk email address. Um, uh, if you're nervous about clicking on the... Oh, boy. Brrr. Sorry, but she hasn't really got that right. You know, it's child's play to forge an email from address. I could send you an email claiming to be Kermit the Frog or Barack Obama. Um, it wouldn't necessarily be coming from my Yahoo address. Um, it would look like it really had come from... Muppet HQ or, or the White House. So unless you're really nerdy, and I suspect that 99% of the people affected by the TalkTalk Talk breach aren't uber nerdy, you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at the header information of the email to tell whether it's a legitimate email or not. Most people it's going to be beyond them. So the advice that she gave people there as to how to look out for scam emails wasn't really that great. What I would suggest is if you're concerned go to Talk Talk's website. Go there, they will have information up there about the breach and what you can do about it. And if you're still worried, there will be phone numbers available up there as well. The danger is that we've seen scammers exploiting past Talk Talk hacks where they will actually phone you up knowing that you're a Talk Talk customer and try and trick you into believing that you are speaking to the real Talk Talk. And then, for instance, they might trick you into installing software onto your computer, which then compromises your computer, or they may get other information from you designed to commit identity theft. Don't be fooled by those kind of things and look after yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right. So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe.